Hi there and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a ladder in Unreal Engine 5. So as you can see over here, I have this ladder over here and I could just go up like that. So this is basically what we're going to be creating in this video, this object over here. In order to create our letters, I'm going to be using the third person template, but you can use any template that you want. Um, so here in our content folder, I'm going to right click and then select blueprint class. Then I'm going to select actor and this one is going to be our BP underscore ladder. Let's open this up. Over here, you can, in components, you can either add a static mesh if your ladder test that you want to be using for this, or you can just create one from scratch. And I think I'm going to be doing that because it's very easy to do that. So let's just add a simple coop. Let's just make it a little bit closer to what we want for a ladder, something like this. Let's get it up over here like so a bit to our left now let's just get one more copy and paste and now here yeah that should be good i think that's too much actually now let's get one more place it this one i'm going to rotate it a bit just like so now let's make it a little bit smaller over here yeah, just like that. I think that's pretty good. Now let's just place this down here, like that. Yeah, there it is snapping a bit. I'm going to just be placing this a little bit to our left, like so. Yeah, that should be good. Now let's just place more. And I think that's, I'm not sure about this distance. I'm going to compile this and just placing our word just to, to check this. And yeah, I think that a little bit, yeah, a little bit closer would be better. Something like this, maybe. Let's now. Yeah, that's better. So now I am going, actually I'm going to let, get this a little bit closer. And then let's copy and paste. Do that over and over again. Actually, now that I have pasted quite a bit, I could just copy and these things together. Copy and paste, and then get this up over here. Like so, I actually don't need those up there. Or I could just increase this a bit to use that as one. So let's just edit this one, this one, and this one I am going to be increasing with this one as well. Let's just increase it over here. Now a little bit up there. And yeah, that's pretty good. Compile it, save it. So this is the ladder that I'm going to be using. Now we need to actually detect when our player comes closer to our ladder. So for that, I'm going to be adding another component that's going to be a box collision. So just add a box collision over there. And this one I am going to be placing in front of it, something like this. Let's just increase the size of it. I'm not sure how close I want our player to be. Maybe something like this should be good. And then, of course, uh, increase it all over here. Let's place it up there. Let's decrease it a bit. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. I don't mind it going a little bit down there because uh, the player is not going to be able to reach there. So that should be good. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's good enough. Compile it, save it. I just think that I want to place it somewhere our player can actually move to. So why not just place it over here and increase this all as well. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. And then let's take our ladder and let's place it over here. Yeah, I need to increase this a little bit more. Let's just do that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically now we have our ladder created and I want that once our player uh, gets closer to it, he's going to start uh, climbing it. Just like that. Now let's go to our starter, our character, actually our third person will print BP third person character. And over here, as you can see, I have this movement that is uh, standard. I have just disconnected this because I was testing a few things. 
but uh, this is the standard movement of our player and I need to make a few modifications to it. So right now I have this uh, forward and backward input and I want to be changing this if our player is closer to that ladder. So for that I'm actually going to be moving this a little bit to here and then I'm going to be getting, oh, let's just approach this a bit and then I'm going to be getting a branch and for this branch I'm going to be actively create another variable that's going to be a ladder question mark and this needs to be uh, false so I'm going to get a not boolean from it place into the condition of this branch and in case this is true in the case of that would be false actually I am going to be changing how this movement work so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is to get our let's just approach a bit more get player character then I am going to get whoops I oops again I'm going to get actor or vector like that then I'm actually going to be get our character movement as well over here and then I'm going to be setting movement mode so that our player can move up so let's change it to flying like that and then I'm going to be getting this add movement put over here the scale is going to be the same one the word position is going to be this actor of vector like that and let's just get it like so this false branch into our set movement mode and then into our add movement input but I need to disable this as well uh, actually don't worry about that because this is going to be changed I just need to change this variable so let's compile save it let's go to rbp ladder now over here with our box selected I I'm going to start deleting this I'm not going to be using and with our box uh, collision selected I'm going to right click and then get on begin overlap then add on component begin overlap over here from our other actor I'm going to pass to BP third person character like so then I'm going to get set ladder like that and i'm going to be setting it to true then again with our box selected box is selected i'm going to get on component and overlap like so same thing as before but this time i am going to be making that as false no director and this time as false compile it save it and let's test this out so i should be able to go up there as you can see, yeah, it's a bit more than I expected and I am still flying. To get our set the new uh, movement when it's over, I'm going to be setting this on our BP ladder. So over here, just get character movement and should be this one, get character movement and then set movement state mode. Yeah, like that set it to walking like so should be good compile it save it and one thing that i was thinking about is that i think i'm going to be getting this um, forward and backward into the end as well because i don't like it it going to the side as it's going right now so this thing i don't like it so i'm going to be getting this over here copy and just copy this paste it over here yeah oops sorry about that copy this together with that paste it over here get this into our add movement and then uh this scale i'm going to leave it as one doesn't really matter because this is going to be only when he is on the ladder and yeah that should be pretty much it let's test this again yeah, it's working fine. I can go back and I can move around just fine. I think I'm going to actually just make it a little bit smaller. Something like this should be good for me. So let's try this again. Yeah, it's working fine. So this is our ladder. Thanks a lot for watching this video. And as always, I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all sorts of files. 
use coupon code MMT to enroll for free.